This is a quick, simple tip about making a tool roll. So if uh, everything in front of me is options, and there are a few other options you could go with as well, but how to make a tool roll fit on your bike. Imagining this is the front of your bike, this is the back of your bike. So this is um, ABS plastic pipe. I picked this up from Home Depot. You could get it from Lowe's, you can get it from multiple hardware stores, depends on where you are. They make it in two, three, four inch or 100 millimeter, which is pretty much what most people use. So you could use it for, if you were just tight, you know, like oversized tire irons or maybe tent poles, or if you wanted your whole toolkit, a three or a four inch generally is, is what you need. So you're gonna locate this on your bike, see where it fits, usually uh, with a pannier rack or, or frame mounted. And um, it's gonna be clamped onto the bike. It's gonna be a permanent fixture, so it's gonna be pretty secure, but I'm gonna show you how to make it more secure and so you don't need to worry about your tools. You can leave your bike and your tools won't get stolen. So the, the simple way that most people go is it's uh, they locate it, it looks good on the bike where you want to put it. You can get a blind end cap and these literally just, just fit on. Um, if you go into the garden uh, section, um, this is uh, PVC cement and then a primer that goes with it. So a bit of primer, a bit of cement, slide this thing on and it's gonna be locked in place. But before you do that, what you want to do is you want to check a couple of things. You want to check where your bike ends and how much you want protruding. You might want the whole two foot section or you might even want even more or, or a lot less. So you're going to cut that. We're going to cut that at a right angle. If you have a bandsaw, great. If you don't, you probably won't get a cut as good as this. So the end that you cut, use that as the end that you cap off because it won't be a flush a flush finish. So you've got to cut to size. Um, make a note that this has a protruding edge on it. So you need to this the width of the width of that needs to be able to fit, not the width of the tube. If this is what you're going to use, so if that works for you, great. If it doesn't, which it might not for quite a few people, especially if you're using a three inch or smaller, because if you use a long tube. You can't fit your hand in there. And if you can't fit your hand in there, you can't get your tools out or your tire irons out or your, your tent poles or whatever it is. So you could get a wire coat hanger and keep that inside it so you have something to pull stuff out with when you need it. Or you could get um, an end that comes off. This is a rubber one and it has a hose clamp on it. So you could take that, they fit on there, tighten up the hose clamp, it's all good. If you need to get anything out, then and you can't get to it for whatever reason, then you know you can always take the end off. And you, if you wanted to, I, I have friends that, that rode around the world for 20 years that they had this set up on both ends and they never had a single thing stolen. So um, if that's enough for you, then, then that's great. Um, if you want something that's maybe a little easier, a little different, these are drain plugs. Um, so you can take these plugs, put them in, they go into the, into the end, just tighten them up, tighten them as much as you can. So the bottom one, what I do, is get some grips on it, get it really tight, and once it's tight, you just, it's, it retains itself, it can't, uh, can't come out. Um, if you're not familiar with these, basically what they are is there are two pieces, two red pieces with a piece of rubber inside, and as it squeezes it, it pushes the rubber outwards, which goes against the pipe, locks it in place. So you, again, you could use this as, as either end, and that would be good. If you do use these, and usually they're, they're bright colors, what I would suggest when you're all set up on your bike is just get some black spray paint and spray that so it's not so obvious for people to see, and it'll just blend in. And a lot of people ask why, on some, some bikes I've had, why I have two exhaust pipes because they just, for some reason, they can't figure it out. So if that's not enough security for you on the, on the outward end, then you can get one of these, which is exactly the same as one of these, but the difference is the top, it has a clamp and a lock system on it. So basically you tighten it up exactly the same, you fit it into, the, into your tube. Once it's secure, then you just put a padlock on there. So now you can't twist that at all because this needs to be out for that to be twisted. But remember, if this is on the back of the bike and you have a padlock on there, it's metal on metal, so you, 
you're definitely going to get a little bit of rattle. So you might, you probably won't notice it with the helmet on. So that's that's the most secure way. This and this is the is the most secure way. Okay, but keep in mind that um, if uh, for any reason you're taking your tools out and they're wet, if you change your tire in the rain, you put it back in. Moisture is going to be inside of here and it's going to get to the bottom and it's going to puddle in the bottom. So, you know, you want to keep stuff in here dry because it's a, it's a closed, closed section. Um, if you, when you get these before you finish and you go on your trip, just get a little bit of sandpaper and run it around the edges, inside and outside, because these have a little fur on them. It can be a little bit sharp. So once you've got that made, now you've got to fix it to the bike. Um, I see a lot of people using this type of thing, like a hose lamp. The problem with hose lamps over time, they they fatigue and they break. And then in um, certain areas, big hose lamps like this are very difficult to get. So what I would do, I would steer away from that. And what you want is a peak lamp. So the shape of a P, it's a round ring of metal with a tab coming off it. And you want to put that in reverse. So it's actually, this is hanging from the bike. And for me, I prefer three of them, one, two, three, because if one breaks, then at least you have two anchor points where if you only have two now, you could be riding and you could potentially lose the whole tube or you could do some damage to the bike or it could go inwards towards the tire. So I'll put a link down with the type of thing that you need to find. You can find them in lots of different places. You just need to make sure that it fits whatever size tube that you're using. Um, in this case, it, I'll show you a three inch one. Or another option is if you have a, um, if you have a saddlebag rack that's rectangular in shape, this is gonna go on the inside of it between the saddlebag rack and the tire, it's gonna sit here. So with that, if you know how to weld or you know somebody that knows how to weld, if you just put one strip of metal welded on the inside of the rack, and then this fits on it, then you can get a thing called a T-bar clamp, which are a lot stronger than these type of host lamps. And again, bolt it in three places to that, and it's locked tight and secure, and it won't move. And now you have your tools with you, even if you're not carrying your luggage. And if you're using this, then you have your tools locked and you're safe and secure. I hope that helps you.